Hey guys, Mark the Golf Addict back, and today we are going to be doing a review on the Bushnell Wingman GPS speaker. You might be surprised with what I have to say. Today we're talking about the Bushnell Wingman GPS speaker. Let's start off with some basics. Um, they say that this is supposed to last 10 hours or approximately 36 holes of golf on a single charge. A couple of neat features is you have two ports on either side to plug in your cables. So on this side is the in side. So if you're going to charge it, this is where you would plug the cord in. Then on this side, you have the outside. So you can actually use this to power your cell phone or any other device that accepts a USB cable. I, I think that's a positive. I've used it before to charge my cell phone um, when I didn't have time to charge it, maybe enough before a round. And it held up really good and got me through my, my 18 holes. Um, there's two main pieces to this. Obviously, you've got the speaker part. On the speaker, you've got the power button, the play button, and then the volumes, the, the plus and the minus. So very simple. Then it comes with this tiny remote. I'd say it's about a little smaller than a half dollar. The remote attaches to the top via a little magnet. And the magnet strength is not the best on the top, but you do want to be able to get this easily on and off. And there's a, another larger... Um, magnet there on the back side so you can attach it to your cart on something that's metallic or metal and here's just an iron just to show you how it sticks and I noticed it's pretty sturdy it has um, fallen off only once going over a big bump on the golf course and luckily I did not lose the remote but the remote did pop off um, just if you happen to drop it on the ground it will pop off and you could lose that. So you have to be aware. And these are relatively expensive when you compare it to the price of the, the Bushnell Wingman. These retail anywhere from $100 to $120. Um, they've been out for a while, and that's why I say the $100 to $120 range. Used, you can find them. I've seen them go on eBay for as cheap as $80. So the speaker quality is top-notch. I've compared it head-to-head -to, -head to a Bose uh, Bluetooth speaker. And I actually would give this a higher rating than the Bose Bluetooth speaker. The sound quality is phenomenal. On the golf course, I have been able to clearly hear the music from about 40, 50 yards away, and I'm just blown away by the quality of sound. So golf-related, the features of this device is you have to download the Bushnell app and register the device on the app. After you do that, your phone, you can use that or a tablet, and it'll show you an overview of the hole. Gives you all sorts of different information, yardages and such. When you're on the course and you roll up to a tee box, so the first tee, it'll actually say, you know, you're playing Pebble Beach, hole number one, and the yardage, blah, blah, blah. If there happens to be a hazard, like a pond or a sand trap, it'll also give you that yardage to reach uh, once you arrive at the tee box and then once you go to the second hole, say hole two, par four, uh, 400 yards, and if there's a hazard, you get that number. When you're in the fairway, it does not do anything automatically. So par four, you hit your drive, and you roll on the fairway, and you're sitting there 155 yards from the hole. You have to click the little button on the remote, and at that point, it'll give you the front, middle, and back yardages. Um, which I think is really neat because now you have the ability to go, okay, I'm in between clubs, but I know if I take the longer club, I'm not going to go over the green. And that gives you a little more confidence in the shot selection you're taking and, um, help you hopefully hit more greens because you're, you're not under clubbing. If you're a golf statistics nerd, like I am myself, you know that everyone, even including pros wind up missing most shots short going into a green. So overall, I love this. Let's talk about the downsides to it though. Again, I kind of mentioned it, this magnet that keeps the remote is pretty weak. It's easy to accidentally knock out, you drop it, and if you lose it, it's so tiny, you're never gonna find it again unless you get lucky. Um, as far as the GPS, I found the numbers to be very accurate, except when you got inside of 100 yards. What I mean by that is, I'm playing a par five the other day and I laid up and I get up to the shot and I look at the 
the, the flag and I'm like, this looks like about 50 yards. I hit the little button here on it and it tells me 85 yards or whatever it told me, but considerably off. And I like to play a clock system um, of wedge game where I'll have a quarter swing, half swing, three quarter, so on with all my wedges, which give me specific numbers that I average with those. And I will laser off every flag until I get to about 30 yards and I just play by feel. So what I'm trying to get at with that is it's very inaccurate once you get inside of 100 yards. So if you're worried about that, this is not the way you want to be measuring your yardages um, on the golf course with wedges. It's just, it's a poor uh, device for that. It's great though when you're outside of 100 yards. And again, I found them to be spot on. No, no glaring issues. If I had any issues whatsoever with um, yardages outside of the 100, they were within a couple of yards of my rangefinder. Um, as far as quality, this thing is built well. No, no issues whatsoever. I don't see anything failing on it. Uh, very simple device. Another thing you have down here on the bottom is this little D-ring. I don't know if it'll pick it up on camera or not but you can attach a lanyard, which is probably not a bad ideal as a safety feature. That way, if you do hit a bump and the magnetic uh, force breaks on it, hopefully it doesn't fall and you run it over or it goes down into a creek or anything like that. But again, if you lose this remote, this is now just a speaker and will have nothing to do with golf because you need to have this remote to make the device tell you the yardages. Another cool feature is it will tell you custom messages. So when you're in the app and you want to have some fun with your buddies out there, just by pushing the button, uh, you hold it down for, I believe it's three seconds and it'll do whatever custom message you want to put on there. So for example, you've got a buddy and you want to give him a hard time. Uh, you could put something like, um, I shot Nancy and when he chunks one off the tee, you hit that button and now you've got the push now, give him your, your friend a hard time. So, Again, quality on the sound, quality on the actual device as far as the way it's built. Biggest flaw on the build is the weak magnet that holds the remote. The magnet on the back, extremely strong. I love the D-ring. It gives you a nice little um, added uh, safety measure you can do after you purchase it. It can charge your phone. It's good for at least 36 holes. And... The sound quality, again, is phenomenal. Like I said, you can hear it from across the golf course if you want to listen to your tunes or whatever you're going to listen to, a podcast or anything like that. Um, it's just not for me because I like to know the number for my wedges. That's where most of your scoring happens inside of 100 yards, and I want something more precise, and this is dramatically off inside of 100 yards. Outside of 100, phenomenal. Um, it might be a yard or two off of what your rangefinder says, but all in all, top notch on what it does for you. Uh, as far as using the app, uh, I would say that the app is not the most user friendly GPS uh, out there in the sense of keeping stats. Um, you're probably not going to buy this for that purpose, but Something you should be aware of, I use a totally different app for GPS and stat tracking. And I find that to be about the same issue um, as far as accuracy. It's, it's great from outside of 100 yards and that app is poor again. I think GPS has never been great on those close shots. So if you're looking at a 65 yard pitch it's probably not gonna give you the accurate number. And that's when the accurate number is the most valuable. So if you're looking just to have something fun, um, go out and play in your league, or if you play a lot of scrambles, great way to go out there and have a great day. Uh, enjoy yourself, listen to your favorite tunes or podcast. But uh, if you're trying to take your game seriously, it's not the greatest for the yardages. So overall, I would give this device a B um, if I had to give it a grade and that's because of the inaccuracy on the short game but it does everything else is advertised it's sturdy and it can clip to your bag but again if you're gonna clip it to your bag with that D-ring and then you can see 
the remote just popped out. That's one of my, my biggest critiques on the build of this. Now, I have seen these neoprene uh, devices that will encase this and you can clip it to a belt loop, which if you're gonna get this, probably the way to do it because if you clip it to your cart, like let's say that this is the cart, it's gonna probably stay there and you're probably never gonna have an issue unless you're driving full speed and hit a bump. Um, and if it falls off without a lanyard attached to the bottom, it's gonna wind up losing that remote and that's gonna cost you probably 30 bucks to replace. Um, the batteries on these remotes are not rechargeable. It's like a watch battery, one of the flat ones. Um, and they got a pretty good life. I actually had to change the one on this. Um, and that was a couple bucks, but very easy to change. If you have any problems with it, you just take it right there in the middle and pry it apart with your fingernails, slip the new battery in and you're good to go. So if you're thinking about buying this guys, it's great for fun. Not the greatest on accuracy inside of a hundred yards and, uh, enjoy yourselves. Have a good one guys.